Hey you guys, it's your girl Dana Patrice, aka the Black Fairy, and I'm here with day six, okay, of my June challenge. I'm so proud of me. I keep saying it. I've been showing up every day and I'm gonna celebrate every day that I do show up because I plan on seeing this challenge through, okay? Now today I want to give you my five book recommendations that help me grow and see growth in my life. You know, you can call them self-help books or whatever, but they're books that I read um, and I've reread that help me stay grounded, help me keep my mind in alignment with what I desire and what it is I choose in my inner being, as well as the situations around me, right? So we're going to get into it. But before we do, as always, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so that you don't miss any new content, which at this point is every single day, okay? <laughs> at this point, let's just get into it. Yes. I fall in love with myself. And I want someone to share it with me. I want someone to share me with me. Okay, y'all. So, like I said, this is my top five books that I recommend for you to read. They're not in any particular order. I just have them stacked here and I'm just going to give it to you as they're stacked. Okay, so book number one, dun, 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 dun. Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Okay, I know you guys know that name. Quite a popular author. I believe, is it Think and Grow Rich that he wrote as well, which is a more popular book, but he also wrote Outwitting the Devil. This book yeah, he, he says right on the book that he's the author of Think and Grow Rich. So I was right about that, okay? This version is annotated by um, Sharon Letcher, right? But a great version nonetheless. The book is amazing, especially if you're, if, if you're in these times and you're awakened and you see what's going on, you will gain great value from outwitting the devil, right? We're in serious times where we're, again, I've said plenty of times on this channel, my old channel, we are going through a timeline split. We are in the age of Aquarius. Your vibration needs to be correct, right? This book helps the breakdown of that psychology. You know, Napoleon Hill goes into a conversation with the devil in which he asks him questions about what gives him power and what doesn't and, and how he views us. Now, you don't need to believe in the devil for this to be real because the devil is also our lower selves, right? If you if you don't believe in the Christian God, right? The devil could be your lower self, that inner being that's kind of in you, maybe pushing you to do wrong sometimes, you know, tempting you, you know, where that comes from and how that moves. It's a very intriguing book. And it happened at, um, when he wrote this, it was during a turn, another turn of the century, the Great Depression. And it gives you a lot of insight. It's a lot, a lot in here that resonates with what's happening right now today. Definitely recommend this book, Outwitting the Devil, Napoleon Hill. Our next book, book number two, dun da 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 The Secret. Okay, I also recommend maybe if you're not a book person, they do have a movie totally worth the watch, totally worth the read. I love The Secret. It's a beautiful way to get informed about the law of attraction and how it works and how it can help you throughout your life in love, money, health, and all aspects of your life. I definitely recommend The Secret. I definitely think you should give it an opportunity and a chance. Go for it. There's nothing much I have to say about it. Again, you can find this movie on netflix okay i don't know if you have netflix i've been seeing posts something about netflix being canceled i, I don't know why but um <laughs> the secret is on there if you have it i'm sure you can find it online if you need to very good movie very good book 10 out of 10 recommend 
Book number three, The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz. I love this author. You guys have seen me talk about this author if you've been on my Instagram. I've bought his books quite a long time ago. I definitely find myself rereading them to remind myself of certain things. The Mastery of Love is really about the mastery of relationships that you have romantic and the relationships around you that maybe aren't romantic, how to navigate through them, keeping yourself centered, keeping yourself at the forefront of everything. Um, this book is absolutely amazing. If you're having trouble finding love, being in love, or you're having a lot of trouble in your relationship, The Mastery of Love is a great read. It will definitely help you get grounded in what it is that you desire for love, what that looks like to you, and a kind of reminder of who you need to show up, <laughs> who you need to show up as if you want to attract love into your life. The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz. I definitely recommend it. Great book choice. The fourth book. I love this book. I've actually been thinking about reading this book again because I've literally been seeing it everywhere lately. Two people at work have brought the, two, the book I saw someone else at work because someone left it at, uh, and they were reading it too. So I'm like, why are y'all reading this book right now? This is a great book. I love this book. I highly recommend this book myself. But what's going on? I keep seeing it everywhere. Okay, the book that I'm talking about is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Bleep. Okay, by Mark Manson. This book is amazing. Again, another book that keeps you grounded and focused on you and what it is that you desire and what it is that you're trying to achieve with yourself. This book is great at holding me accountable. It taught me a lot about, the again, the law of attraction and how I use it and even how I was using it kind of wrong. You know, pointing out some things that other books really hadn't pointed out to me before but needed to. I'm definitely, actually, now that I think about it, I'm definitely going to be taking in this book again. I'm going to be rereading it. I'm going to start tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It'll do you good if you learn how to not give a damn. Trust me. Recommended. And the last book on my list. The Four Agreements, y'all. I said this the other day. I did a reel on Instagram and I talked about this book and how it sets me straight every time. Yes, it's only four agreements, but they're super simple. Super simple. And the breakdown of them and, and how they affect your life and how you can use it and turn it around. It's all in this book. I, this small book, I really <clears throat> allocate it as my Bible. You know, when I think about how I want to navigate relationships not um, outside of myself, when I think about dealing with the pain that I felt was caused to me, to my younger self, to my childhood self, understanding other people around you, how to understand them, how to navigate through them, negative, positive, or anything else, this book is it, y'all. I love this book. This is my probably number one recommendation. The Four Agreements. I think everybody should read it. I think it will give you value. I think you will, and I know the light is kind of odd. <laughs> I think anybody who reads this will leave gaining something from it. Okay? <laughs> so that is my recommend book. Rend blah, 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 blah. So that is my book recommendations. I have five. They're great. They will help you stay grounded. They will help you understand the law of attraction. They will help you grow. They will help you perceive things in ways that you may not have that could better your life. Tap in, tune in. Reading is an amazing tool, okay? Reading is great. It's fundamental. It makes you smarter, okay? Some of the smartest people in the world spend at least a part of their day reading my recommendation try and get up and wake up and maybe read a chapter a day you'll find yourself reading a lot more and um yeah it's a good way to tune in and tap in within yourself especially when the content of the book is to help you grow and be your best self anyway that is it for this video today i love you i believe in you you've got this and we will talk soon